Welcome back to a series of videos where I'm showing you how you can create quizzes or exams in Moodle using the quiz module. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create question banks. So right now I am logged in to my course and this course is based on the Moodle Snap theme. So your settings may be located in a slightly different area depending on the theme that's installed on your particular Moodle installation. So let's see how we can add question banks to Moodle in the Snap theme. So if I navigate to the top right, you'll see there's a gear icon there. I'll click on the gear icon. And if I scroll down to the bottom, there's this link which links to the question banks. I will expand it by clicking on this little arrow. And I can see that there are a couple of options here. Questions, this shows all the questions that are in the question bank, the categories, import and export functionalities as well. Let's go to the question bank. So as we navigate to the question bank, what is a question bank? You could think of this as a repository for questions. Now for most people, their questions will be broken down into topics. So you could have question banks that are aligned to a particular topic. So say topic one, has 30 questions. Topic two has another 30 questions and you have 30 questions per topic all the way to topic 10. When you're now setting up your final exam, this allows you to go and pull a few questions from topic one, a few questions from topic two, all the way up to 10. So that way you do not have to be creating questions on the fly for each quiz. But those questions that you add to the quizzes can be stored in these question banks where they are organized and you know you're going to get so many questions from this particular bank just like a normal bank would um, just like how a normal bank would work so let's go ahead and um, see what we have here so there are a number of options that I have first I have the questions so this shows me the questions that are in a particular question bank and the category here that we see is a default for test 101. Test 101 is the short code, short code for my course. So there are no questions as you can see. Then there is top for primary sandbox, which is the course itself. So there are no questions there. Then this course is organized in the natural sciences category. And I can choose question banks from there, but there are none. And I can go all the way down to the system level, which is the whole model installation for our university. And I see that there are 25 questions in the system uh, question bank there. So I will need to create a question bank here to which I can add my questions. So to do so, I will go to categories. And once I am on categories, I can navigate to the bottom and I will see the option to add a category. Now I'll be asked what is the parent category for this category that I'm adding. So I can choose here and I want to make it top so that it's at the cost level and I can be able to access it from anywhere. So I will choose top, then I will name this demo uh, bank. If I want to put any information that will be helpful, I can always type it in here, but I will go ahead and add the category. So there you see my, my demo bank is now showing up down here. So in the next video, I will show you how you can then add questions to your newly created question banks.